Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is actually Easter so I'm filming this on Easter Sunday. Um, I don't have anywhere to go but I bought this dress for myself uh, back in December as an Easter dress and I just I dress up every year. I thought it'd be really tragic if I didn't dress up this year. And I've kind of been living in like leggings so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go all out. Um, I figured while I was all dressed up I would do a video for you guys. I posted a poll on my communities tab um, last week and asked you guys whether or not you would rather see a haul video because I have a giant bag of stuff from Goodwill that I bought over a month ago <laughs> that has just been sitting in my closet waiting for a rainy day and or if you would rather see an unboxing video I ordered a mystery surprise box from a posher um, it is more like for me and then I'm gonna do like a style video with it sort of like my stitch fix where I try on all the things and make different outfits out of the things that I get in the box provided that they fit yeah so if that sounds interesting to you go ahead and hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button I definitely appreciate that um, I love growing this channel and I hope to see more of you uh, down in the comments so that we can have a chat. I always love reading everybody's comments. Um, the detailed ones are great. I'm learning so much about you guys and I love it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I've got two packages. One of them is an order of Edwardian blouses that I got um, to kind of go with my lookbook but I wanted to kind of maybe incorporate them into this and see if I could um, create some looks with them. And kind of show you guys how they're called antique whites can look really cute styled in a more modern way so this is the first package this is the Edwardian whites um, the Edwardian time period comes after the Victorian time period and before the 1920s so you're talking about like 1910 ish um, and they just had such beautiful handwork they did have sewing machines but they were not um, as widely used as they are today so a lot of the embroidery or like hand details were um, stitched by women or seamstresses who had some time on their hands or a lot of money <laughs> so the first one is this sort of like well, it's got like a mock collar this is actually the back of it so it's got this long back and just like look at this beautiful detail delicate sleeves that end in a very small little cuff and this one is more of like an open front so it would have had another shirt underneath it um, with maybe like some ruffles here and then it would have been tucked into a very high-waisted skirt but it closes with a single button and then it has this little tie here that cinches in the waist and I just think that would be so cute I don't know that this one will fit me I think this is one where the size did not work for me um, but just look at this detail I mean just beautiful and then you can see let's see if I can show you guys so it's lined and then you can see all the handwork in there and just how beautifully it's constructed. All these little individual lace bits are sewn in. Um, yeah, so just really amazing vintage piece. This one is a bit thrashed, which means that it's in super rough shape, but that doesn't mean that you should discount stuff um, because it is a bit broken. It is a little vest, and I just thought this would be so cute. Um, styled over something. Just look at that cut work. So pretty. Um, and it's just like the softest, sheerest cotton. Just beautifully done. And you can see here, like these stitches are done by a machine, but 
again, it wasn't used for like the fine detail work. And this has a very, I mean, it's shredded in the back, but it's got like a very old number of patches and stuff like that. But I just thought it was pretty. And uh, I wanted to see what I could do with it. The last one will probably fit me except for not in the neck. <laughs> so this would have had like um, hook and eyes, I think, going up the back of the neck. But just very pretty collar with nice detailed sleeves and little lacy cuffs. Um, and then this one buttons up the back with hidden buttons. And again, the like work on this, like if you... <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to show you this, but if you look closely at these, they're all machine stitched one by one onto this mesh to create this diamond pattern. Like that is just amazing. How could you let something like that fall to the wayside, you know? You have to save it. All right, so those are my Edwardian whites. I'll see if any of them fit me. Sometimes the bust is big enough, but obviously my arms are kind of bigger, much bigger around than um, some of these blouses might accommodate. So we shall see. All right, and this is my mystery box. This is from Pizza Passports on Poshmark. And she was doing kind of like mystery reseller boxes, but I don't really need inventory to resell. I have tons of it right now. Um, so I was just like, hey, can you put together a box that's like you know, my size, and then, you know, if you want to look at my closet for inspiration on what I like, that would be awesome, but I'm just, you know, I thought it'd be fun, kind of like a stitch fix sort of situation. Um, she packed it very nicely. I kind of messed it up, but this is it. She might still have boxes available, so I'll go ahead and link her down below, but yeah, let's see what she sent. I think it was supposed to be like five items. Um, all right just trying to figure out what this is oh, okay so this is like a kimono it's from Francesca's just a pretty like floral summery kimono that's really pretty this would look really cute with some um, cut off jeans that I just got from girly girl style on Poshmark they're hand embroidered and this I think would look really cute with that so I might try those on together So for this outfit, I have got the Francesca's um, kimono thing. I actually think it's a swim cover up because it has these really long ties that you can like kind of tie in the middle. Um, but I've got them looped off so that they're not dangling. I paired it with a pair of cutoff jeans that I got from Girly Girl Style. She embroidered this and then I... Um, added the whip stitching here and they were a little tight on my legs so I cut them here and then whip stitched there as well. Um, for jewelry I've got these koi earrings uh, from a friend of mine Winifred and Bramble on Etsy and this necklace as well is from her. In some of my other shots I had a Lena Bernard um, anthropology necklace as the Jim Line Lariat necklace and then I've got this fedora in like a coral color. And I think this is a pretty cute, just like casual sort of outfit. Again, I've got my trusty Swedish has-beens. They are comfortable, they go with everything. So the reason that I had that tied there was because if I try to do it like swim cover-up style and just like tie it here, I just didn't love the look. It makes it a little bit more like boxy and then if you tie it too tight it looks like you don't have shorts or pants on which is not my thing. Um, but if you leave it open then you've got these long like strings so I, I tied those up. But I do like the way that this looks and this is a cute little like kimono thing and I like how you can um, cinch it so it's a little more fitted in the back. Let's see. I got a t 
tea. Okay, lucky brand, like Americana type of tea. It's like a bandana print, and that's cute. Definitely try that on. Again, that would look really cute with jeans. All right, so the next one is this bandana print top. This is not really my aesthetic, so I will be selling this one, but it is, I think, Lucky Brand. Um, and it does look cute with the flare jeans. And I've got a belt and I've got it tucked in. I added like kind of a 90s looking like choker thing that I got in an estate sale jewelry lot. And then I would probably toss on either um, my leather tote bag or maybe this little like straw cherry bag or something like that if I were going to wear it out. Um, but yeah, so this one I will be selling, but it is cute. It's just not my style. Wow, I think she sent a lot more than five items. This is really pretty. This is definitely silk. What is this? It's Victoria's Secret Silk. Oh, that's cute. It's a nighty. I'm actually probably gonna wear this like as a nighty, even though I think it would work as a dress because it's, you know, I think if you just popped on some like nude colored um, undergarments, I think that this would work as a dress, but it's soft and I like to sleep in like little dress top thing so oh, that's really pretty I can't wait to try that on and silk has this habit of just like stretching in all the right places and hugging your curves in all the right places so I'm excited to see how that looks personally for me like my chest is too big you can see the like bust line is like right here Victoria's Secret stuff almost never fits well but if I was going to wear this um, out in public I would probably toss on something like this Maeve anthropology top um, where you just sort of button it up and I'd probably leave it open in this situation just to kind of show that little like pink peekaboo and then you tie it in the little bow there got that um, I think that's pretty cute. Personally, I don't think I would wear this out in public. Um, so I will probably be selling this one because of the way the bust fits. I don't think it would be very comfortable for me to sleep in. Another thing I might do is take like a sheer top. This is a 2000s like 90s limited top. It's very much got that like 1950s um, vibe to it. They had, although theirs would have been collared more, um, but they did a lot of sheer blouses, nylon blouses and stuff like that. This has got nice stretch to it. Um, but this one I think is actually pretty cute. It is definitely very reminiscent of the 90s with the little like flirty hem down here and the bias cut. Um, but this one I do think is cute. And I might actually wear this in public. Um, downside is that there's no pockets because this is a slip dress. But I think this is really cute. You could top it off with like a choker here. Uh, I don't really own any chokers because they're not my style. But I think it would be cute on someone who is not me. All right, I got a sweater. There's a cardigan. Oh wow, I can't believe she put this in the box. Um, dang girl. I did not tell her, by the way, that I was doing a YouTube video. <laughs> I just asked her to put together something for me. Um, a flax sweater. If you don't know, flax is like sort of a log and look brand. They do a lot of linen, um, but they're very popular and the resale value is pretty darn good. Uh, this one, I'm not sure how it will look on me. I'm definitely going to try it on. Um, but if it doesn't look great on me, then I can easily resell it. And this one is actually cotton and nylon. It's not linen, but it's really nice. 
Um, and I only paid $25 for this box, guys, plus shipping, so that's pretty, pretty sweet. This is super cute. Um, Maurice's, size large. I totally love this. I would definitely just wear this on like a casual day. The little cactuses, this would look so cute with like a little straw hat, like a fedora, um, or even a baseball cap if I had one in the right color. For the next piece, I've got this Maurice's top. It has little cactuses all over it. It's definitely really cute. Um, and I've got it with the same necklace and the same shorts. The one thing about tops like this is that they're that like viscose material. I think it might be. Yeah, it's probably printed on the neck. But it kind of like clings to everything. So like it's not especially flattering like a cotton top is. So I don't know if I will keep this one. If I decide not to, it will be up in my Poshmark closet. I do think that you could toss this on with the flax cardigan that she sent and that it would be really cute together. Um, it's both got that same sort of like mossy, cottony, outdoorsy sort of color scheme. You could throw kids are in the other room. You could throw a bag on with it, you know, leather bag, a straw bag, something like that. And it is kind of summery, um, but the fit is not really how I like my cardigans, so this one will probably be up for grabs too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Little free people, um, like smocked crop top. That would actually look really cute with like a dress or a pair of high-waisted jeans and it's actually got like the same sort of tie shoulder that I'm wearing now so I like that um, and I'm kind of excited to try this because I actually just got <laughs> I just got off of Amazon a strapless bra and I am big chested and I finally found the strapless bra and it wasn't even that expensive and it is working great I'm wearing it right now and I've always had problems with my um, bra straps showing, no matter like what kind of bra I get. So I'm excited about this and I want to try it on with this. I have so many vintage like halter style dresses that it's just no matter what kind of straps you have, they're gonna show you know, dresses that are cut kind of deep in the back. So this will be a great one to test that out. So that is super cute. So for this outfit, I've got the Edwardian vest um, that had a bunch of damages in the back, but it's still really pretty. Um, and then I've got this Free People top with like the smocked bust. Um, I've got my new um, strapless bra on, works great. I paired it with a small stone necklace, one one of those like vintage type of um, like seashell -y necklaces. I've got like ultra high-waisted jeans, they are flares, and my classic um, Swedish has-beens that I have in three different colors. And if I were going to wear this out, I might add on a hat or a bag. Um, I think it would look great with some bracelets as well. Um, now the hat and the bag don't exactly match, so I would probably like switch that up. Um, I'd probably go with a darker hat because the shoes are a darker color and they match the bag. Uh, but yeah, I think this outfit is really cute just for like summer casual and I like it and I'm going to keep this piece. And then she sent, wow, this is heavy. Gotta love that posh five pound shipping. She sent this vintage bag. Oh wow, this is a Whiting and Davis bag. Let's see if I can show you that. 
So Whiting and Davis kind of is one of those well-known vintage brands and they are known for doing this sort of metal mesh. Um, and this is a kiss lock clasp and it would actually fit my phone and a couple cards and some lipstick and it's really cute. It's super heavy because it's all metal, but it's really cute. So that'll be fun to add into style. All right, and please let me know down in the comments what uh, item is your favorite and let me know which outfit is your favorite. And I hope that you will subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. So overall, I think she did a really great job with this box and putting that together for me. And I really appreciate, um, she clearly went to my closet and took a look around and I thought that it was great. Even though I'm only keeping like a couple of pieces, I am super, super picky. So for me to keep anything is actually a big success. And um, the rest of these pieces will be listed in my Poshmark closet. I'll try to get them up um, as soon as this video is live. So if you see anything in this video that you like, it should already be available in my Poshmark closet. And you can feel free to shoot me an offer over there um, if the price isn't something that you could do. Just let me know that you're one of my YouTube viewers so I can give you a deal. And thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have another Stitch Fix box coming soon and I still have that Goodwill haul in the closet. So I do have some more content for you guys and I hope that you will join me. I'll see you next time. Bye!